Let's talk about genital herpes. It's more common than you might think. No, seriously, it's estimated that over one in six people in the United States have it. Genital herpes is caused by the herpes simplex virus, HSV. Don't worry though, there are two types of HSV, HSV1 and HSV2. HSV1 usually causes oral herpes, those pesky cold sores. HSV2 is the one that typically causes genital herpes. But here's the kicker. Both types can infect either area. Think of it like this. HSV1 prefers the north, your mouth. And HSV2 prefers the south, your genitals. But they'll visit each other if given the chance. So, why should you care? Well, for starters, herpes is for life. There's no cure. But don't freak out just yet. There are ways to manage it and live a perfectly normal, healthy life. Okay, let's get down to business. How exactly do you get genital herpes? The most common way is through sexual contact. We're talking any kind of sexual contact, vaginal, anal, or oral. Herpes is spread through direct contact with sores, blisters, or even just the skin in the genital area of someone who has it. And here's the kicker. You can still get herpes even if your partner doesn't have any visible symptoms. Sneaky, right? Now, here's where it gets a little tricky. You can also get genital herpes from someone who has oral herpes. Remember how we talked about HSV1 and HSV2 visiting each other? So, if someone with a cold sore gives you oral sex, you could end up with genital herpes. Not exactly the souvenir you were hoping for, right? Here's the good news. Herpes can't be spread through toilet seats, towels, or swimming pools. So, you can breathe a sigh of relief and go for that swim. So, you're probably wondering, how do I know if I have herpes? Well, that's where things get tricky. Some people with herpes don't have any symptoms at all. For those who do have symptoms, the first outbreak usually happens within two weeks. The virus goes into hiding like a sneaky ninja, and then, bam, it strikes. So what should you be on the lookout for? The most common symptom is blisters. These can pop up around your genitals, anus, or thighs. They can be painful, itchy, or just plain annoying. If you notice any of these symptoms, make an appointment with your doctor. Okay, so you've been diagnosed with herpes. What's next? There's no cure, but there's good news. Medications can manage symptoms and prevent outbreaks. These are called antivirals. They stop the virus from replicating. Your doctor will determine the best medication for you. Take them during outbreaks or daily to prevent them. Do you have to take medication for life? It depends. Some take it daily, others only during outbreaks. Decide with your doctor. For most people, genital herpes is more of an annoyance than a serious health threat. But in some cases, it can lead to complications. Don't worry though. These complications are rare, and your doctor will be able to advise you on how to minimize your risk. One potential complication is a weakened immune system. If you have a weakened immune system, for example, if you have HIV, you may be more likely to experience frequent or severe herpes outbreaks. Another possible complication is meningitis. Meningitis is an inflammation of the membranes that surround your brain and spinal cord. It's a serious condition that requires immediate medical attention. In rare cases, herpes can also lead to problems with the bladder, rectum, or eyes. So, it's important to be aware of the potential complications and seek medical attention if you experience any unusual symptoms. So, how can you protect yourself from getting genital herpes? Well, the most effective way is to abstain from sexual activity. But let's be realistic. That's not always possible or desirable. If you are sexually active, using condoms correctly every time you have sex can help reduce your risk of getting herpes. Remember though, condoms aren't foolproof. Herpes can be spread through skin-to-skin -skin contact even if a condom is used. Another way to reduce your risk is to limit your number of sexual partners. 
The fewer partners you have, the lower your chances of being exposed to the virus. If you or your partner has herpes, there are things you can do to prevent transmission. Avoid sexual contact during an outbreak and talk to your doctor about taking antiviral medication to suppress the virus. So, there you have it. The lowdown on genital herpes. It's a common virus that can be easily managed with the right information and treatment. Remember, knowledge is power. The more you know about herpes, the better equipped you'll be to protect yourself and your partners. Don't be afraid to talk to your doctor or a healthcare provider if you have any questions or concerns. And remember, having herpes doesn't mean you can't have a happy and fulfilling sex life. If you found this video helpful, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell for more videos.